everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a little bit different. I want to share how to make stickers with digital stamps. Now the digital stamp that I am using today is from Joy Claire Stamps. It is called Cup of Joy. If you didn't know, this week is the Coffee Lovers Blog Hop, the seasonal blog hop. It's the spring one. So this stamp set is perfect for that blog hop and that's why I'm going to be using it today. Plus it's just gorgeous. So I am using Photoshop Elements. I have tried free programs, they just don't work as well, so I keep coming back to this program. It is a one-time buying it. It is not free, um, but it's what I use and it's what I'm going to be using for my digital stamps tutorials. Just a little heads up, it's what I use, it's what I love, and that's just, that's what it is, what it is. Now, the Joy Claire Stamps digital stamps come on this 8.5 by 11 sheet. So, if you are brand new to digital stamps, these are a great beginner project. All you need to do is open it up and print it off. That's all you have to do. And then it's going to be the same size if there is a coordinating stamp set. It'll be the same exact size and your SVG files will work with the size they are. Now, if you're like me and you want to go about kind of dicing them out and making them larger, I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But first and foremost, all I wanted to do first for my um, stamps is just open up the sheet as it comes. So these were designed by Melinda on the design team. So it has designed by craftymelinda.com. And all I am doing is using my paint bucket tool to drop in color. Now, the program is very intuitive. It, it knows where the lines are. So all you have to do is just take that color, use your little color picker down there at the bottom, find the color you want, and then take your paint tool and use your mouse and drop it into place. Now, that's great if you want to use the whole sheet. But what about if you just want to take one stamp and use it over and over and over and over and over again? You can do that too with this program. So what I did was I zoomed in onto this cup down here at the bottom. I am using the lasso tool. This is the magic lasso tool off to the left hand side. And I am just very roughly going around my cup with my mouse. That's all I'm doing. And then I'll go ahead and close off my little area. Then I will right click and I am going to layer via copy. That is going to create a layer above my first layer with just that cup on it. Now off to the right hand side on my layers tool, I'm going to click that little eye on my background and that is going to completely shut off that background and I'm not working on it anymore. I'm only working on that top layer. Now I'll zoom out and I'm going to use the crop tool. Again, this is pretty intuitive. It's going to find where your lines are and it will kind of crop up to the edge and then just give a little stop. And you can keep going if you want to go closer, but I'm just going to go ahead and crop to the white lines. And then I will go down to the bottom, my little file, and I'm going to open up a new project. Now my sticker sheets that I use are eight and a half by 11. So I am going to open up an eight and a half by 11 new project. Make sure it's 300 DPI, so I have a nice good resolution. And then down there at the bottom, I am going to take my little coffee image and just drag and drop it right into that new eight and a half by 11 page. Now this is where you can have some fun with the size and just play around with it and make it whatever size you want. Then you can go in and say you want to grab another stamp from that same stamp set that you used. Just use your back button at the bottom. That will go ahead and take the crop off. It will also go ahead and then take your little eyeball off and it will make that layer visible again or you can just click on it and then just delete that copy that you made with the stamp cup. Now, if you are scared to do this and you're thinking, oh my gosh, what if I go in and I mess up my stamp set? Well, you have built-in safeguards with this program if you accidentally click the save button. 
it's okay, it's going to pop up. Even if you click save again with that same tool, it's going to say that a, a file already exists. Do you, are you sure you want to do this? So you have to kind of really try to go in and save this under a new name and delete that old image. Now, once you have all that done and you are ready to go back and work on your little um, cup that you dropped onto your new sheet, all you need to do is go in and as you start to drop, it's going to ask if you want to simplify the layer. Click yes, or you can go over and right click on your layer and click simplify layer, and then just start dropping in color. Now, if you come to a part in this program where the stamp lines are a little bit too thin for the program to pick up and it drops in color where it's not supposed to, all you need to do is go down to your little paint bucket tool and down there on the bottom, it has the tolerance that you just want to play around with and the lower you go, the less tolerant it's going to be. Um, so it kind of goes closer to those lines. The more tolerant you make it, then it's not going to go quite up to those lines. So lower the tolerance a little bit if you're finding that it's not really picking up those lines. I hope that makes sense. Now, if you are playing around with your colors and you want to go in and use a color you've already had, use the color picker tool, that little eye drop tool, and just pick up that color. It's going to pick up the exact color you used and just drop it in. Now, as I'm going through, you will probably see too, as I drop in this color, there are places in these very detailed images, especially the center of these flowers, where it's just not going to fill in all the way. That's okay. The thing is, when you zoom in in these programs, you are seeing much, much, much more detail than you are ever going to see in the stickers that you create. So drop in as much color as you can, and then if you have little white spaces, that's okay. You will see in some of my photos, they are not nearly as visible as they are in the, in the program while I'm working on it, and I'm zoomed in ultra close. Now, as you are working on these and you are using your color tool, just have fun with it. You can use this to experiment with different color combinations. And if you are scared of doing anything, I always like to say with digital stamps, everything you do is undoable. So if I do something and I'm not crazy about it, I have an undo button where you don't necessarily have that when you create with your paper products. So you can't always take away a stamped image, but here in your programs, there's always the undo button. So if you drop a color somewhere you didn't mean to, it's okay, click the undo button. If you don't like the color, pick another color and drop it in in its place. Now here, as I'm filling in the center of this flower, I am going to zoom in very, very closely. And you are going to see, as I drop this in, there's just quite a bit of white space. And that's okay, because I want to show you the finished image at the end of this and show you that it is not nearly as visible as it is on this program. But with my tolerance, the lower it is, remember, it's picking up all those extra black lines. So it's really kind of going in and filling in all those different little areas. So what I like to do is just take my mouse, zoom in, and just start clicking. And remember, if you accidentally click on a black line, like you will see I do a few times in this video, and it turns the entire outline of this image yellow, that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. All I need to do is go in and click the back button. So I like to just drop all the color I can until I have as little white visible as possible. Now you can see off to the left hand side there on those purple flowers, I do have a little bit of white in the center of those as well. That's okay. I'm not even going to mess with that because when I print these, that's not going to be visible to the eye. It just won't be. It's only visible because I am zoomed in so much right now. Now, while you are working on this, you also want to make sure you're working on the correct layer. You can go in and kind of 
uh, mix up your layers on this and then your color won't be where you want it. Things won't be working. So as you're working on this, make sure you're always working on the correct layer. I can't tell you how many times something hasn't been working for me and I can't figure out why. And it's because I'm on the wrong layer. So just a little heads up there. Also, as you're creating these uh, digital stickers with your digital stamp sets, your best friend is going to be the color selection tool, the color picker tool, and your paint bucket tool to just drop in those colors. It makes it super duper easy. And because the lines are already drawn for you and the programs recognizes those lines, it makes it so easy. You can see here I've chosen a nice coral and I'm just going to drop it in all the places of this teacup that I want it. And then for the inside of the teacup, I want to go a little bit darker. So I'm just going to go down a little bit and choose a little bit of a darker shade of pink and drop that in for that little bit of a shadow look. And for the tighter spaces, I can just zoom in and click those into and drop those in as well. Now, the great thing is if I miss any spots, all I have to do is go in with my little eyedropper tool, click on the color I want to use, and then click my little paint bucket tool and drop in the color wherever I missed. It's super simple and easy to do. And again, if you go in and you choose a color and you decide you don't like it in the long run, you can go back in and just fill over the top, drop in a new color, or click that undo button and just drop in a new color. It's really that simple. Now, as I was finishing up with this teacup, I went ahead and zoomed out and I like to take an overall look at everything I have going on. And then, say I'm not really happy with something like in this particular one I thought the orange I used was just a little bit too dark for all the soft colors I had going on so what I'm gonna do is just zoom back in very very quickly here and pick a new orange color so like I said everything you do is undoable I went ahead and just chose used my color picker tool and clicked on my little orange that I used then I go into my color selection tool and I'm just going a few shades lighter and dropping that in right over the top of that orange I already had in its place. And that I am much happier with. And I can go ahead and continue on. And I went ahead and just used all the stamps and filled them in very, very quickly. I did do that off screen because it does get a little tedious, but I do want to show you one last time how to choose just one image and take it over to that new file. So I'm going to go back to my main set of stamps here, my digital stamps, and I'm going to use that lasso tool off to the left hand side, drag around it with my mouse, and then once I have it completely selected, right click and layer via copy. Then on that background layer, I'm going to click the little eye, make sure it has the red dash through it. And that is going to turn off that layer for me, turn off the visibility. Then I can go in with my crop tool to my first layer of my little macaron cookie. And again, this is very smart. It's going to go right up to the white lines that I created. I'm going to drag it in a little further because I was a little messy with my um, lasso tool. And then once I have it cropped out, I'm going to go down to my project bin, click open my eight and a half by 11 project that I have my little teacup on, open that up. And then in my project bin, I just want to go ahead and drag and drop in my little macaron cookie. Now, again, you can make this smaller. You can make this bigger. It really is up to you to play around with the size, make these huge, make these teeny tiny uh, keep them the same size if you wanted to. A lot of fun to play around with the size. And once I have that down, all I need to do then is just use my little paint bucket tool and I can drop in the colors. Now here, I wanted to use that same orange that I had used before on the berries. I'm going to drop in one of the colors. It's going to ask me to simplify the layer. I'll click OK. Or you can right click on that layer and click simplify layer in your layers box off to the right hand side. Then in my color selection tool, I am going to go a few shades darker than that orange and drop that into the center of the cookie itself. And just in about a minute and a half, two minutes, I have another sticker that is ready to go. Now, something else you can do once 
you have these stickers into this new project area. If you want to, and you just want to create a bunch of stickers that look identical, but maybe use them in different colors. All you need to do is first of all, start with a clean layer. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my color really quick by just using that back button tool off to the right side in your layers tool, right click on that layer and duplicate the layer. Then with your little arrow tool off to the left hand side, you can move that layer off of the other one and you've got two little layers all ready to go. So there are the very, very, very basics of creating stickers with your digital stamps. That is all the program work. Now, once you have your stickers exactly how you want them, all you need to do is print them. I use label paper. I will leave what I use linked down in the description box below. You can buy special sticker paper, but I find the label paper works just as well and it's much cheaper. Also, with the label paper, you can use any printer you have. I use a laser printer, a color laser printer to print mine off, but an inkjet works on those label paper sheets as well. So all you need to do is print them out and then I fussy cut mine. If you leave them the same size, you can use those SVG files from Joy Claire Stamps, but I find fussy cutting them is just as easy and just as quick. As you can see, I made stickers of each one of the images in this set, and I absolutely love the way these turned out. Be sure to head over to the Joy Claire blog or my own blog to see different ways and ideas on how to use these stickers. There are going to be links down in the description box below, so be sure to check those out. Thanks for watching, everyone, and happy crafting!